Yeah, just go, man. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Yes, you have read the title right. The S1000XR is going. But fear not, not only is this bike going, I am on my way now to pick up the new bike. So if you're interested to know why this is going and what I'm getting next, then stay tuned and see in a few. The wrong bloody way. And here it is. <laughs> Give over, I'm not buying a bloody GS. <laughs> but I have bought this. Isn't she a beaut? The 2023 Triumph Tiger 1200 Rally Pro. Bit of a mouthful of an absolute fine specimen. Just ridden 100 Ks on the way back home. This is gonna be the new bike for the foreseeable future. Absolutely stunning bike. But before we get into this bike and gush all over it, let's get back out on the road and just have a bit of a chat about why the, uh, the XR has gone. No, it wasn't a kept secret that the um, that the XR I struggled on, just for comfort. It's a great shame because I, I love the bike and it, I'm really sad to see it go, but I just found it too uncomfortable on longer trips. And the sort of clincher was my uh, Scotland, um, Scotland tour this year. If you missed that video or missed the playlist, I'll stick a link in the top there, you can check that out. But I was struggling to ride that thing 200 kilometers without sort of it breaking me in half, but had to see it go but it, it just had to go I just can't ride that thing long enough um, and it was taking all the fun out of it to be honest now for those that you don't know the XR seat um, is like a sculpted seat you kind of sit in it rather than on it and it promotes a really neutral seating position there's no way to move left or right about on the seat you know when you're getting a bit of a lick on you just sat in one position all day long which initially is fairly comfortable but um, after a few hours, it kind of broke me in half and I was, I was struggling with it so much. And I kept um, a lot of the whining and moaning out of my content about the seat, just with the odd bit for comedy value in there. So it was no great secret that I found the bike um, uncomfortable. I did try um, a new seat. I had the seat redone, um, which was much, much better but it was still not, not good enough and it was still causing me issues. So rather than sort of reviewing the, the seat that I had done for it, I thought it was a bit unfair for me to review it and then to, to release a video saying I'd sold the XR because it was uncomfortable. So the seat just went back and uh, possibly we'll do something together on this bike, we'll see. I was toying anyway with the idea of getting an adventure bike um, straight off the bat from my trip to Tor Adventure last year in um, November. Went down to Spain and did a few days um, on and off road on the GS. Now I did coming back off that tour go to BMW, my local dealership and price up a GS, the 1250. And they wanted uh, 23 grand, which I thought was a bit, uh, was a bit too steep for me. But that was before the, um, the release of the new uh, R1300 GS. Now on the release of that bike, um, I had another offer for a 1250 for 21 grand, um, which was sort of on the on par with what I'd paid for the XR. So I did have a look into it, um, but then I stumbled upon, oh, I was watching a lot of reviews, especially on this bike, and I found not so much a local dealer, it's about an hour away from me. 
a dealer that um, sells BMW and Triumph. So Becca Tiemann in uh, Paderborn, which is where I got this. Because I was still a bit dubious about leaving my local BMW dealership just for the sort of service aspect of things. Um, it's always a bit of a hit and miss whether you're going to get a good dealer or not, a good service. But because it's a BMW dealer also, you kind of get that, that BMW feeling about it. So I went down to there and uh, had a look about. Obviously for GSs and other bits and bobs, I did have a look. And then I test rode this bike. I, well, I test rode all of them. This is the uh, Rally Pro. I took out the GT Pro and I took out the Rally explorer now the explorer has got the 30 litre tank on it and that was a that was a massive bike that was way too big so i did ride all the bikes and came down to uh to this one now the thing that made me buy this bike or the deal breaker was that this bike was priced at twenty-two thousand six hundred euros but that dealership in paderborn they had an offer on for last month for this exact bike fully loaded for eighteen thousand two hundred so that's over four grand off. Yeah, so I am, I am sad to see the XR go because I did enjoy that bike um, immensely. Um, I'm a bit sad to be, to be going away from, um, again, away from BMW. But as I said, the BMW or the dealership that I bought this off is actually a, a family run BMW uh, dealer. They, they sell a lot or they sold previously just cars, BMW. But uh, the, as of the last two or three years, they've taken on um, a few bike dealerships and the new one that I just bought this from they actually built the built the dealer two three years ago I think so as I said you still get that BMW feel to it the service um, which is nice although um, you know the dealerships an hour away from me which is not ideal um, it's in Paderborn which isn't far away from Zauerland which is all which um, is where I always ride so even, you know, getting work done, services, if there's any warranty issues, I can ride to Paderborn. Yes, it's a bit further away, but just sort of 15 minutes to the other side of Paderborn, I'm in, I'm in the real good stuff. So I can get this bike serviced there. So just sort of a quick vid today, nothing fancy, um, but just to let you guys know of what's going on. The XR has gone and this has replaced it for the foreseeable future. Now I've got a shed load of garage videos that's going to be coming on this. I've got loads of new uh, stuff uh, to install on it. SWMO Tech have sorted me out with an absolute shopping list of stuff. So we've got luggage, crash protection. Um, I've got some Kais heated gear, which I've got the gloves on now. So I need to add all the, uh, or install all the wiring for that. I'm going to be doing some work with Inov. Um, Inov sell uh, dash cams, which I'm going to be getting uh, one shortly. But I do have the Inov um, blind spot radar for, um, detection system at home so although this bike doesn't come with it as standard they now they've now brought out their own version of um of a sort of blind spot detection system so i'm going to be installing that on the bike um i've got some other bits i've got to install my sat nav uh, up here somewhere all the wiring for that i've got a wireless phone charger from quadlock uh, in the garage i've just got an abundance of gear a lot of um, accessories electronic stuff so i'm gonna to have to uh, take the bike to bits and install all that goodness so there's uh, there's going to be a load of garage videos over a pint to come fairly soon and i should probably make a video or make a start on that this weekend it is now what is it wednesday so probably tonight i'll probably start taking the bike to bits and uh just so i can get all the cable and wiring all tidied up and installed all nicely yeah, and as I said, loads of luggage and other bits and bobs to go on the bike. So it's going to be uh, exciting. I'm going to be busy the next uh, week or so filming a load of content. Yeah, so that is, uh, that is what's happening, folks. I've done it. The XR's gone. But I'm, uh, I'm loving this thing. It's an absolute weapon. Now, I can't rinse it as yet because I'm uh, running the thing in. They've advised me not to take it over 3,500. It says it all on it. It explains it all. Um, so no rinsing it as of yet, but this thing sounds amazing. Oh my God. Now, some of you might be wondering why I went with the Rally Pro over the, um, the GT Pro. To be honest, it's like you buy a bike with your heart sometimes and not with, uh, not with your eyes. I just love the look of this thing. I love this paint scheme, the matte, the matte green in white or with white. Um, yes, it's got the 21-inch front wheel, 
but after riding both bikes with a sort of a rider of my skill level I didn't really notice much of a difference to be, to, to be fair this bike is so agile um, I didn't really notice it and that's due, due to the to try for being able to uh, mount the engine a bit further down and a bit further forward to sort of compensate for that 19 inch front to the 21 inch front you don't really notice a lot of difference so um, I was kind of uh, happy with that because I said I do love the look of this thing and you do get a bit more gear on it. Now this is pretty much, um, it's got the same sort of tech on it as the 1250 GS, definitely not maybe the new one, the 1300, uh, but there's so many different packages now on that bike. Um, so this is, this is fully loaded, this has basically got everything a fully loaded GS has got and I've got it sort of five grand, five grand cheaper. Um, the, the GS so it was a kind of no-brainer but to be honest I like the look of this way more than the GS the, the bike in itself has got way more sort of character to it it's got a bit more grunt I mean it just sounds amazing you know not to take anything away from the GS I really did like that bike after coming back from Spain um, but even even then although I did enjoy it and I did enjoy the off-roading on it there was still it still lacks that bit of excitement about it which this has um, so I'm kind of really chuffed that I've gone down this road over the GS. So there you go, that's pretty much it for today. As I said, there's going to be a, sh a shed ton of videos on this bike of installing bits and bobs, me out riding, getting the, uh, getting the miles up to get it in for the first service. So we can talk about this bike um, in uh, content to come. But just for today, I just wanted to let you guys know. Oh, that I've stored it. <laughs> Apologies to you XR owners. It's now gone, but I'm happy to have got this bike now. So let me know your comments, questions and feedbacks down in the uh, comment section below and I shall see you in the next one. See you out there. Oh. Hello. Oh, cock, I forgot this road's closed, isn't it? But we don't care because we're on an adventure bike. We just do what we want on adventure bikes.